Alex Pereira shared this sparring video on his Instagram. Hey, Nikki, hurt the shit out. Stop it, we put that. Hey, stop it, stop it, Nikki. The intriguing part of the story is that the kid had been talking disrespectfully about Alex and his kids on Twitter, challenging him multiple times. In response, Alex invited him to the gym and teached him a lesson that he will never forget. Luke Rockhold talked about the first time he met Sean Strickland. The first thing that annoyed him was Strickland attempting to knock out his sparring partner, but that didn't stop him to spar with him. Here is what he said. You know what I noticed was that Sean Strickland, he's that guy that just like doesn't care. Like he'll he'll try to kill you. Ooh. Like Sean Strickland like walked into Ruka one time and like he was such a loud mouth idiot. I was like, Ooh. who the fuck is this guy? I was so hungover. Ooh. I was so annoyed. I was like, I was like, fuck. I was like, I'm gonna get on spar this guy. And I was like, I can't even take it. He's, 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 but he like, but I've seen him like he'd hurt a guy in the gym and he'd try to like he'd hurt a guy with a head kick. And there'd be like 30 seconds left. Prillo would be like, he'd wobbled and he'd be like, Prillo be like, oh, keep going, keep going, you know, keep finish the round. Instead of like what most people would do, would try to work with him, especially when you're on someone else's turf, Sean went straight back to that head kick and tried to knock him out multiple times. There's 30 seconds left in the round. The kid's done. Show yourself as a fucking man and step up and try to just finish the round rather than just go back to the well and knock him out. So right. I remember yeah. I got into we got into fucking little, I watched, little brawl I watched for one him. round. How was he when you sparred against him? He's tricky. He's, he's a little tricky guy. But I was like, I was like I said, I was. I went to the bathroom, I fucking, I put paper towel, I wrapped it in my teeth like an old school wet mouthpiece and I was swallowing that thing, sparring him hungover. It was like, it was, it was close. Yeah. It was a close round. Yeah, yeah. Frankie Edgar doesn't believe that Sean O'Malley could become the next Conor McGregor in the UFC. While he doesn't completely rule out the possibility, Edgar sees it as unlikely. Here's his take on the matter. His next fight will definitely determine a lot. You gotta win, that's the thing. You gotta win especially at the right time. Connor was winning and what he said, he was doing. That's pretty special and he talked the talk but he backed it up at the moment when he had to. If O'Malley can keep doing that and ride that wave then yeah I think he could be a pretty big star. Again I don't know though. All these guys say they're big stars but I don't know if anybody sells like McGregor. Maybe Diaz, Khabib, guys like that but no one's really selling. And these guys are selling their souls but no numbers. Opinions are divided on whether O'Malley is already a star or has the potential to become one. The answer to that question likely depends on time and O'Malley's performance. In the dynamic world of the game, a few wins can rapidly alter perceptions and potential star status. Renato Meccano shared his prediction for the Charles Oliveira vs. Armand Sarukian. Despite being training partners with Tsurukian, Renato surprisingly chose Charles Oliveira as the winner. Here is what he said. Yeah, he looked good, you know, uh, but I think Darius, he, 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 even though he was doing good against Charles, you know, I don't know, the fight was too, 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 uh, was too short, right? And... I think, Char to be honest with you, I think Charles is better than, than Sarukian. Even even though Sarukian trains with me, ATT, we have the same coach, and I respect him a lot. I think he is very good. But I think Charles is more skilled than him. Okay, so you, you think know? Charles wins? I think so. And I think the easiest way to, to say was, ah, I think Sarukian will win. I think Kayla yeah. will, you know, but, but I'm not, I don't know. And, I, I'm, and I'm, I'm not saying, like, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know if Charles or Sarukian will win. I just think Charles is more skillful than him. He's better on the striking and on the ground. Sarukian has the, the edge, has the advantage on the grappling, but I don't think he's going to be able to, to hold Charles on the ground. Thanks for watching. If you're a fan of MMA, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Also, leave a comment below with your thoughts on today's news. Keep supporting the sport, and we'll see you in the next one.